Next, I give the floor to His Excellency, Permanent Representative of Syrian Arab Republic. You have the floor, sir. Thank you, Madam Vice President. My delegation supports the statement made by the Deputy Permanent Representative of Indonesia on behalf of the Non-Aligned Movement. And I would like to make the following points in my national capacity. The phenomenon of illicit trade in small arms and light weapons represents the declining moral situation in relations of the world today. This proves to all in clear terms the involvement of some big and small powers, both the manufacturing and non-manufacturing of these light weapons and their transfer to terrorist groups who might be called as non-state and mercenaries. Our world today notices a very serious phenomenon, which is the direct transfer of small weapons and light arms and their ammunitions to terrorist groups listed by the Security Council as terrorist groups. This dangerous phenomenon is not exclusive to the illicit trade in small arms and light weapons, but has become in, transpired in direct transfer from stockpiles of certain countries or through the purchase of these states from other countries who are unfortunately members of the United Nations, whom I will not cite by name. And these weapons then are transferred by uh, aircraft that have diplomatic permits to Turkey and then smuggled across the Syrian borders to the terrorist groups that are on the land of my country, Syria. Of course, after relabeling of these terrorist groups to become moderate armed Syrian opposition. This is the reality that is taking place against my country. Some Arab countries like Saudi Arabia and Qatar spend billions of dollars with the knowledge of many countries present in this chamber uh, who buy these weapons and transfer them to terrorist groups. Regional powers like Turkey that supplied terrorists in all Supply, uh, sponsored many terrorist groups and provided training and protection and weapons uh, to all small um, to, to terrorist groups that came from all corners of the world and invaded my country, breaching the sovereignty of Syria and occupied many precious parts of my country, as is well known to you. Some Western powers, like United States, France, and Britain, that spent billions of dollars in order to ensure the supply of arms and to train and finance terrorist groups that are operating in Syria, including the Nusra terrorists and ISIL, Daesh. We, of course, cannot forget the involvement of many European countries to export what is called uh, the jihadi terrorism to my country and to, sub and to supply all these Serbs with everything imaginable in terms of arms since 2011 under false pretext that is the spread of democracy, human rights, um, good governance, and the rule of law. They destroy countries and communities under these uh, false excuses. But the Israeli entity, it continues under the watchful eye of the United Nations peacekeeping operations, continues to transfer small arms and light weapons to al Nasra Front and other terrorist groups in the disengagement zone on the Syrian Golan. Try to imagine this scenario and try to imagine this filthy nexus and alliance between terrorist groups and member states in this international organization. Some of these member states have permanent 
membership in the Security Council. From this uh, forum, we call on member states, some of whom I cited, especially those who are implicated in that smuggling of uh, weapons to terrorist groups, to shoulder their responsibilities and fulfill their rhetoric before this conference and to uh, comply with the relevant international norms and uh, 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 including the Charter of the United Nations and to halt the smuggling of uh, weapons in all their types, whether they are lethal or not, across the borders of my, through the countries bordering my country. Ladies and gentlemen, we cannot combat illicit trade in small arms and weapons here in New York while we allow their illicit use in Syria, because experience has showed clearly that the oil spill will eventually spread in the quagmires of terrorism and will touch every place, including the very heart of the countries that sponsor terrorism. And uh, this has been the case, a uh, very clear case recently. Madam Vice President, the current review conference is a good opportunity to address shortcomings and challenges facing the implementation of the POO and the ITI in a balanced and effective manner. And therefore, my delegation thinks that the draft outcome document must address in earnest the challenge in terms of the transfer and smuggling of small uh, arms and light weapons to terrorist groups by states who always advocate the implementation of the program of action and the international tracing instrument. And therefore, the draft outcome document must uh, set out clear terms for uh, th that condemn uh, duplication or duplicity in standards and to call for cooperation with our countries in order to address this challenge. In the past, my delegation submitted to the President of the Conference concrete proposals in this regard on the first draft uh, outcome document, and my delegation will continue to submit our presentation in the course of negotiations. Madam Vice President, in closing, the mandate of this conference is very clear, and we look forward, in cooperation with other delegations, to reach a final document adopted by consensus. Thank you, Madam Vice President. I thank His Excellency, Permanent Representative of Syrian Arab Republic, for his statement.